So I've been visiting the library since I was a, a kid. Uh, I grew up in San Jose. I would go to the Willow Glen branch and then often to the old San Jose library on San Carlos Street. I started uh, volunteering in the California room in early 2019 as part of the RetroTech uh, program. People would bring in their analog media, photos or old videotapes or even cassette tapes, and I would, we would use the various equipment here and I would help them put them onto computer files. I also would uh, come in a little bit early sometimes to do my own family history research. A lot of it was on the Mercury News, which at the time was only available on microfilm which was very time consuming and uh, difficult to search reel by reel. And uh, it would take many hours. As I was doing my own research, finding this microfilm so lacking, the opportunity came up to make the gift to purchase the digitized Mercury News. I just thought this is a big uh, gap that needs to be filled, not just for my own personal research, but for anyone in San Jose who's doing research, the students, other people doing family history, or for whatever reason, people need to do research of contemporary accounts of the day. Susan Renzel Carter is my mother. She grew up in San Jose using the library. She's the one who brought me to the library for the first time. And she used it her entire life, and just loved it as a resource. And uh, she kind of taught me to love it. And so the gift is to honor her love of the library. My great uncle, Ernie Renzel, who was a big social civic leader in San Jose for in, in the last century for a hundred years. He was he was a big mover and shaker behind the airport and Kelly Park and History San Jose. And he he would often uh, talk about something he called the Athenian Civic Creed. I may not have that exactly right, but it was something to the effect of uh, I will try to leave my city better than when I found it. And I, that's always stuck with me because he did that in spades. And I'm thinking, well, this is my little way of honoring his, his, his idea of leaving the city better than, than I found it. This gift from Margaret was incredibly meaningful in part because it aligned so well with how she uses her public library. You too can leave a gift that lasts for generations by joining the San Jose Public Library Foundation's Epilogue Society and leaving us in your final wishes.